from KCAT Studio in Los Gatos, California. It's Los Gatos Live! And in the deep forest is a new world. Who knows what dangerous creatures I might find? It's only one way to find out. It's beautiful, mate. No words to describe it. What's all this then? This is our home. We live here. I've got dibs. You can't do that. We already live here. You've got dibs, didn't you, mate? Well, no, but we were here first. Surprise the queen! Um, no! Yes? No! Yes? No! Yes. No! <laughs> Breaking news. Nothing is happening. <laughs> Same old, same old. Hello? What? No, I can't afford that. I fought a war for them and now they're raising taxes? No. No! I'm going to war! And now, a commercial? Are you tired of crumpets and tea? Come to the newest British colony, the America. We have corn, beer, revolts, and more. Come drink and or swim in our fresh water, filled with gators, bacteria, and disease. If you're looking for entertainment, come on down to Salem, where you can witness one of the famous Salem witch trials, Burn Baby Burn. Yes, she wasn't a witch, then. If you're ever feeling hungry while in the America, you can have some of our corn, our corn on the cob, our buttered corn, or even our grilled corn. Book your vacation to the America today. Living not guaranteed. We're gathered here today to discuss the issue over taxation. The prosecutor is America and the defendant is the all reigning amazing leader, king of all people, ruler of all, talented, gifted, and all around a perfect person, King George III. King George, state your case. Well, they will pay taxes for my tea. As Royal King of Britain. As Royal King of Britain. As I was saying. As I was stop saying. It, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! As I was saying, as the Royal King of Britain, I ain't all of you. I mean, you have to do as I say. America, state your case. Give me liberty or give me death. We fought at the French Indian War for you, and now you expect us to pay for it? This is absurd. I am the King of Britain. Someone has to pay for, the, for Britain's own bearing debt. It's clear to me that Britain does own the land, so as I see it, Britain does Trial by combat! You want to go then, mate? Yes! Okay, let's go, let's go, come on, come let's on! Go. To the early morning show of Timmy Gallon. Today, you're here with our ex-general and now and now our president, President George Washington. Yeah. Yeah. So George, how's it been president? Uh, well, it's been pretty good. We just got the Constitution figured out, so things should be more organized in the near future. Well, it's pretty good. Uh, wait. <laughs> That's certainly good to hear. We heard that you used to want to be part of the Royal Navy before the Revolution. Yes, that is true. Um, my mother wouldn't let me, so I started my own Navy, and look where I am today. Moral of the story, don't do what your parents say. <laughs> <laughs> we must address the elephant in the room. You fought in the, Br in the Revolutionary War, yet you owned slaves since the age of 11. What do you have to say about this? Well, I'm glad you asked, Tim. You see, um, I must confess, I am ashamed of the contradiction. That's why I'm excited to announce that I will be freeing my slaves. That's good. After I 
and my wife died. Uh, well, uh, I don't feel like giving this to you, but we have a gift for you. Oh, it's a giant white stick. Yeah, in the middle of a field. That's all I've ever wanted. Well, that's all the time we have. Woo! See you next time. On the, on the Early Morning Show with Timmy Gallon, we'll be interviewing an aspiring French general named Napoleon Bon Arpart. Nobody cares about his last name. Yeah! Woo! The French were right to give us this land. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to meet us up ahead. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh -huh. you'll come to buy my land, correct? Yeah, yes. what's your price? Uh, eight beans. No, six beans. Seven beans, final price. Fine. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh huh. We are gathered here to today to discuss the fate of slavery in the vast few lands acquired in the recent Mexican American War. House statesman, do you propose we uphold the balance between slave state and free state? Forget the balance. We say each citizen, ter each citizen from each territory to choose to decide themselves. I object. Slavery has no place in the land of the free. You may keep it in your southern states. But the cruel empire of slavery shall not extend one inch into the land. You speak like a tyrant, Miss, Mr. Lincoln. Um, I hope you and your Republican Party never win an election. Wait, everybody, I just received a telegram. Abraham Lincoln and the Republican Party have won the presidential election. In your face! And we are to be our own nation, then. You can't do that. Try by combat! Let's go, come on. Let's go. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Stop. Stop. burnt down your house with candlelight, but worry no more. I have invented for you a light bulb. Definitely did not steal this. Invented it. With one flick of a switch, your entire room will light up. But not in flames. In the light bulb. Do you miss your friends on the other side of the country? We'd like to see them again. Well, this invention won't help, because I did not invent the flying machine. But behold, a telephone. Let you speak to someone next door or within a 300 feet radius. Revolutionary. What the heck, dude? Oh, uh, Alexander. Hello. Hey, nice, nice typewriter you got there. I was not stealing your invention. No, no more, no more. Get this amazing deal at a low price of twenty eight ninety nine. Call one eight eight. I definitely invented this to get to get five dollars off. But not, 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 not the camera. I'm an monopoly. I'm all, all film, every film, all of it, all of it. Anyways, thank you. Daily News, brought to you live by a totally real news station, or ATRNS. Yep, we are here in the now prospering America, where a flag is flying high and invention of credit. America is head over heels. Yeah, using credit, you can get something you want or need, and not even have to pay whoever you take it from. Back to later. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And also, and women can now vote. You heard that right, folks. We and other women can now vote for president. And that's not exciting enough. We won the world war. I think America is on the right track. Consumer consumerism is at an all-time high. Women can vote. We've got credit, and jazz is the new American jingle. What a happy ending to such a horrible war. We sure won that one for the rest of Europe. Yep. What could possibly go wrong now? Are you looking for a getaway during these very depressing times? Come to the U.S. of A. We've got stock market crashes, overpriced food, a very high unemployment rate, and Hawaii. We have famous cities such as Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, New York, and Washington, D.C., our capital. Just never look at the ground. Instead, turn your eyes to the sky and look at our beautiful skyscrapers and lights. Even though our economy is failing and everyone's depressed, we have fun activities such as national parks and those people who pretend to be statues. Women can even vote here. So come to America and stimulate our economy. Please. Jobs not included. 
Oh man, I'm totally stressed trying to fix America's ravaged economy with the policies of the New Deal. They're, they're proving effective, but we are still in dire need of a miracle. Bonjour, Mr. President. Uh, you, FDR, you're, you've got to help us. Germany is taking over. Gee, I don't know. I'm kind of dealing with a lot right now. Okay. But I'm willing to lend and lease war materials to support your effort. We appreciate it. We appreciate it, President. But we prefer if you send your up. I can't. The American people are against it. That is final. Mr. President, Japan has just attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii! Not Hawaii. Declare war immediately. You got it, Mr. President. So... I think we're I done here, gentlemen. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I see. Mr. President! Germany has declared war on us for declaring war on their ally, Japan! Gentlemen, we are not done here. We are gathered here today to determine which economic system is better for the world, capitalism or communism. Russia, you may begin. Under communism, the entire economy is pre-planned. Everything is accounted for. Each citizen is provided what they can and receive what they need. The system is about the sharing and caring. Whereas capitalism is about selfishness and divine and stupidness. Ah, but the selfishness you speak of in, is in each citizen's best interest. When it is every man for himself, trades must be made between them. Everyone still gets what they need, and yet there is still no room for innovation, something you lacked back there in your Soviet time. Lies! You may have fancy computer products, but we have beat you in the space race! Yes, you may have launched the first satellite and put the first man in space and the first dog in space, but we have the first man on the moon. Okay, space cowboys, you may have claimed the moon, but back on your own company, you're back in, on Earth. Your citizens the hate you, hate you, criticize, criticize you. <laughs> you're Are you going to go, go back? Your own citizen criticize your government and then get thrown in the gulag. Try my nuke! Wow, 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 no, that would be the end of the world. Yes, Fine. you're right. Oh, it's on! Oh, oh let's go! Let's go! We are here today to witness history. Today I'll be signing a document that will allow all races, genders, and sexualities the right to vote, and abolish segregation. A century has passed since the Civil War and the end of slavery. Yet in, the, yet in all that time, the South has not fully recognized the freedom of black Americans. That changes today. Today, we are all equal. in New York shook the nation, and today we pay our respects. In other news, the Great Depression sequel has released and with the 2008 market crash. But don't put your heads down yet for this historic moment in American history. LMFAO is performing party rock anthem at MindCon, and the first African American president has been elected. A huge step forward in American history. Breaking news, a virus formed in a small village in China has spread around the globe. After Mr. So, so, suspecting local chewed down on some bats, now to our field ops with the PSA. 2020 has been a tough year for all of us. Many of you have lost your jobs, loved ones, and overall happiness. 
the Trump administration would like to let you know. That we don't care at all. See, here at the Trump administration, we value Trump and money over American lives. And recently, something challenged both Trump's ego and ability to avoid the law. And we think we know how to get $2 million out of it. That something is Joe Biden stealing the election. Now, you may be asking yourself, how in the world could Joe Biden even steal the election? Well, I was going to tell you some very big things that roughly meant that there could have been widespread voter fraud, but I couldn't really argue that in court. So instead, just remember that the Democratic Party is a bunch of Satan-worshipping lizard people working for the deep state. And that is a part of the Illuminati on a flat earth, trying to bring communism to America by gay marriage and vaccines. And anything that says otherwise, well, that's fake news. Now, we need you, loyal Trump supporters, on January 6th, the day of the sacred electoral vote count, to break into the Capitol and install a one-party system as we claim to be patriots. All for a president who never polled over 50% approval! What are your thought what what are your plans slash thoughts on the future now that Tesla owns the United States? Well, we have some ideas for the monuments of Tesserica. There can't be a Mount Rushmore anymore, of course. And so it's now going to be known as Mount Tesla, and we'll have the Tesla and my face and carved into it. Oh, and the Statue of Liberty is just too like plain, and so we're gonna recall that. Statue of Tesla Liberty, and it will now be holding a Tesla T and we'll have my face on it. Well, I can see you have very, very great plans for the future, and I can, but Ted, we can see that Ted Card here is in good, good, good hands. <laughs> yes, but the thing I really came here to talk about is our expansion to Mars. I'm intrigued. Tell me. Well, seeming as we've already created the space capsule and rocket that will take us to Mars, the next step will be colonizing and creating livable space for humans to live in. Once we've created that, we can start bringing trained professionals to live there, and eventually, humans. Sounds like a lot of fun. I would, I would need my college degree to understand a thing like that. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Thank you, Bellin. But if you'd all excuse me, I have to get on a call. I have a meeting with Starbucks and McDonald's trying to make them a chain and rename them with t Tesla in them. For some reason, they won't agree. Well, folks. Well, folks, you hear, you hear it here. Have a great day. Don't forget to pick up your complimentary Tesla on your way out. <laughs>